All right, we're rolling. Okay, so this is the product line, the basic product line. Here's the Skeeter, here's three versions of it. Uh, essentially the same. What we do is we have a uh, Wilcox interface, which is the same as the helmet mount that's uh, currently used by SOF and some big army, big Marine Corps entities. And we've used that as a, as a universal interface for a, a weapon system mount that we can cantilever out of the way, or we can cantilever back. So and who makes the, uh, the universal mount? Uh, we make it in, con in conjunction with, uh, with Wilcox. It's our upper design, and they're forced to overcome mechanism, and they're, uh, they're a contractor to us. They do a good job, a great job with that. So uh, as you can see, it's got a locking mechanism, to, so it won't open up you know, inadvertently. Right. And then, uh, with, the, with the lanyard hard points. Right, this is a thermal IR. Right? This is a yeah. thermal system, yeah, for sure is. Okay. With a visible pointer, digital magnetic compass, three axis. Uh, you can also use it as a standalone weapon site, which means if you have this all by itself, you can still use it as a weapon site. It's got a live reticle in it that you can, uh, that you can use it. So basically you can use it by itself or as a clone site. Uh, you can use it with essentially any day site in front of. It's set up at standard distance uh, of height and elevation. And here is essentially a focus and a parallax adjustment. So you can use essentially any different type of day optic and dial out any parallax. Um, so it's, it's got a live front cell, a live rear cell, and uh, pop it straight out, put it into a helmet mount, and use it as a standalone viewer. Or we can also take this system and say, with example, with the PBS-15 goggles, clip it in, uh, put a, a one-point cable access here, and now we have thermal overlay into an existing night vision device, which is uh, it's backwards compatible. So now instead of having one device that's dedicated, you actually have two devices that you have a weapon site and uh, you can clip it into here for a fusion goggle and your existing uh, I-square system. And also you can view uh, your compass in here inverted. You've got a laser pointer in here. So you've essentially got a heads up display um, and a pointing capability on your head, not just on your weapon now. Hmm. And then you can, you can mount this, this one on. We sure do. This right? is another system, a universal uh, thermal monocular which has got the PEC-15, PEC-16 type controls, um, plug-in, remote, so it's backwards compatible. The same 7-pin connector on here is the same 7-pin connector on our other systems. It will also... And this is called what again? The UTM, the Universal Thermal Monocular. Okay. And as you can see, this uh, the battery compartment, it'll run on one or two cells. Uh, currently, we just have one in there, which all of our systems will do. They're, they're, uh, they're fairly flexible on power source. And this will also fit in the same mounting system. So you, now you have a uh, PlayStation type controller, uh, game, gamer type controller, which uh, you know the newer soldiers and Marines and ground forces are familiar with. You've got your existing plug-in remote that works with your flashlights and laser pointers. Um, again, a digital magnetic compass, three, three, uh, three axis. Uh, parallax adjustment and focus, and then uh, your your depth of field focus. Take the, uh, the lens cap off. Real quick. Sure can. And again, you can cantilever it out of the way. If you want a standalone white light image through your day sight, you simply rotate it out of the way. Uh, the lasers, you got a visible laser, and you've got a uh, visible or visible and an IR independently adjustable on the X and Y axis. Can you, can you run a, a, remo a remote camera out of this? Or you sure can. You absolutely could. In fact, we have a remote camera system right there that you can run it straight to your eye. And that interface allows it to go to any universal adapter. We have uh, commercial MP4 players that you can plug into it. Uh, essentially, it's plug and play. You can run this straight through. As you can see, this is actually a TV screen you can see through, not just into. So you can see the thermal image if you come down here and put your camera. You can probably see that people can see through that and see the thermal image at the same time if you get the right position. Mm, yeah. I don't know. Turn the bright I don't know if we can do it. Sure. There you go. Yeah. You, uh, let me... Yep. Sort of. Yep. You yeah, can sort of catch it. So you have a thermal image and then a passive image as well. So you, you don't lose your situational awareness. 